are smack dab in the center of Florida in the aptly named Baseball City as MLB The Show welcomes you to this special edition of Major League Baseball. We've got exhibition baseball in store for you tonight as it'll be the Washington Nationals taking on the Detroit Tigers. And hello once again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, Matt Vaskersian, we get set to bring you what should be an entertaining ball game. Also with us, 10-year Major League vet Rex Hudler. And Hud, we turn to you first. What catches your eye in this one? Well, one guy who's one of the best all-around outfielders you're ever going to see is Torrey Hunter. The nine gold gloves speak for themselves, but his work with the bat is not too shabby either. Not by a long shot. You'd have to say he's the best center fielder of his generation. All right, Rex, thanks, I guess. Dave joins us in a minute, but first it's time to take a look at our starting lineup for the visiting Washington Nationals. It comes courtesy of our friends at State Farm. Call, click, or visit and start saving today. Denard Spann is the leadoff man. He's in center field. David DeJesus bats second. He's the DH tonight. Number 34 bats third and plays left field. Jason Worth, the right fielder, is in the cleanup spot. After that, first baseman Adam LaRoche. Next, the fine young third baseman Ryan Zimmerman. Ian Desmond, the shortstop batting number seven. Jesus Flores will be behind the plate and hit eighth. Jerry Hairston will round out the order. He will play second. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, there you see the numbers for one of the very best starters in the game, all-star right-hander Justin Verlander. And a quick look now at the defensive alignment behind him for Detroit. Denard Spann makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. An entertaining ball game by and by, so let's go ahead, Dave, and make this fellow right here a deserving recipient of our Topps Player of the Game Award. Well, Matt, he really led the way in this one, a four-hit game, and he was certainly one of the cogs in the machine here in this one. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Tigers win it 12-7. This has been a presentation of MLB 11, The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. So long, everybody. be the show is on the air as we come to you this evening from the east coast of Florida West Palm Beach the site for this edition of Major League Baseball tonight exhibition baseball is on tap as it'll be the Detroit Tigers taking on the Atlanta Braves and hi again everybody alongside Dave Campbell and the wonder dog Rex Hudler I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call on what should be a good one here and soup we turn to you first what are you going to be keeping an eye on most in this one well for fans it's definitely fun in the sun down here in Florida and although many of the regulars have fun as well it can also be stressful for these guys on the bubble some of them will fight for their major league lives in this one and it should be interesting. All right, Dave, thanks. We'll hear from Rex in a moment, but let's check out the starting lineup for the visiting Tigers in this one, and it's brought to us by State Farm. Call, click, or visit and start saving today. Number one will lead things off and be the shortstop. Austin Jackson, that second, he'll be in center. Then comes the first baseman, Prince Fielder. Miguel Cabrera, the third baseman, is in the cleanup spot. Alex Avila, bats fifth, he's behind the plate. Corey Hunter bats sixth and plays right. Omar Infante is the second baseman. He bats number seven. Max Scherzer is the pitcher, yet he'll strategically bat eighth in this lineup. Number 12 will bat number nine. He is in left. And they'll have their work cut out for him as they'll face the guy they call the Bulldog, the veteran right-hander Tim Hudson. Now a quick look at how the Braves will align themselves behind him.
The leadoff hitter makes his way toward the plate, and we are ready for baseball. Good crowd on hand as the first pitch tonight is taken for ball one. Working the black, that's a good pitch. Here's the pitch. In there, one and one. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Yeah, trying to take back control of that inside part of the plate. That's where you want to be. Oh, right down Main Street with that one. Two and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Ah, got him swinging on the split-fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Looking for the ground ball here with that splitter, and I'm sure he'll take the strikeout instead. Austin Jackson will stand in. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. And that's too high. Ball two. And he's going to need to rein that one in a bit because he'll get beat if he keeps leaving pitches up. One out. Nobody on. Now the 2-0. And this is poured in at the letters, two and one now. And this is the kind of guy that's not afraid to challenge you up in the zone early on. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Two-two pitch on the way. On the ground to third. Throw on to first, and no problems here for Hudson. That's the second out. Prince Fielder will take his cuts now. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And I'll tell you, these are the kind of pitches he's going to need to keep locating if he's going to be successful. Here's the 0-1 from Hudson. Oh, and a big hack by Fielder, just like his daddy, but it's 0-2. And they'd love to get through this first inning, 1-2-3. There's no doubt about that. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Hayward is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Nothing better for a pitcher than to get a 1-2-3 inning to begin a ball game. And now the starting lineup for the host Braves looks like this. It's again brought to us by State Farm. Justin Upton will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Good waste pitch, one and two. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul.
The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Brian McCann is on deck. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Jackson is right there, one down. Brian McCann steps in now. Swung on and missed its 0 and 1. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. And he's just saying, here's my fastball, try and hit it. Got him in an 0-2 hole now. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Boy, and happy birthday. This is just a gift. Down 0-2 and, and he gets one right down the middle. Jason Hayward will get his first opportunity now. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Jackson will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Looked like those two were going to collide for a minute, but the right fielder backs off and lets the center fielder put it away. Russell Branion will be the batter. First pitch coming. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. And here's a fastball called for strike two. And that's where you want to keep things early in this ballgame. Pound that outside part of the plate. And he misses there. One and two. On a swing and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. Cabrera is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Second inning coming up from West Palm Beach with no score. Miguel Cabrera leads things off now in the top half of the second. Good fastball there from Hudson, and it's strike one. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Just foul, so he'll have to try and straighten that out a bit. Now the pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. Over to his left. He's up with it. Pro to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Well, with two strikes, you just got to shorten up and make contact, but he chased one there. Alex Avila will take his first cuts of the ball game here. And this pitch is hit rather sharply toward the third base coaching box. It's a foul ball.
Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. The pitch. And a check swing here. They'll point down to the third base umpire, but no swing on that one. It's ball one. And he fights this one off to stay alive. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Grounded foul. Still two strikes. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Corey Hunter waits on deck. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Let's see where this thing is. Yeah, it's a little bit outside. That's a pitcher's pitch right there with two strikes. Corey Hunter will dig in here. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Nice work that time by Tim Hudson. It remains nothing, nothing. Dan Ugla will start things off in the bottom of the second. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And he buzzed him with that one a bit. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. And this is just an instance of being overmatched by a fastball. He was way late on that one. B.J. Upton will stand in for the first time here. Picking on the first pitch as this is on the ground towards short. Throw on the fielder for out number two. Alex Gonzalez will be the batter. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. Throw to fielder at first will take care of him, and that'll be that. Braves are set down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score.
Omar Infante ready to go here as we begin the third. In there for strike one. And one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. Oh, and he runs up and gets a good one down. Bare-handed. Oh, will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Shut down the first couple innings, but they're officially into the hit column here in the third. Now they got to work on getting a few runs across. Max Scherzer will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Hudson jumps ahead with the fastball here. Nothing in one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. <laughs> Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. try to lay one down but they're prepared for it throw on to first so the sacrifice is successful rolling the dice here butting with two strikes but he got a good pitch to handle so that runner moves into scoring position here with one man dead number 12 will stand in Good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Third inning, no score to this point. Check back by Hudson. Now the pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And that's a tough pitch to lay off, bearing down like that. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. Upton is there, two gone. Number one will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. The next pitch. And that misses 2-0. and oh. In there, 2-1. Two 2-1, and one. Two and one, still a good spot for a hitter. He might still get something good here. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir.
just did get a piece of that one so he stays alive here. Line hard to the left side. Foul. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Austin Jackson would be next. Has a look, now the pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Brooks Conrad makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that'll get down in front of Hunter, a base hit. Well, credit the number eight hitter here. When he gets on to lead off an inning, you allow the pitcher to bunt him over. Then it's on to the top of the lineup where they'll have a real strong opportunity to score. Now a sacrifice attempt here. And this one's bunted out in front of the plate. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Throw not in time at first, so the pitcher tries to give himself up, but instead he gets himself a base hit. Justin Upton will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. He's set, now the pitch. Now a swing, but oh, oh, too far in front as this one had the distance, but is well fouled. Grounded to third. This could be two. Step on the bag for one. Over to second. A double play. And as we get a second look here, that's a good job at third of getting that first out himself and then having the presence of mind to throw on to second for the double play. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring in the all-star catcher, Brian McCann. off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have 0 and 1 well he got away with that pitch but when you're a veteran pitcher those are the kind of location mistakes you just can't afford to make swing and a ball bounced back up the middle and that'll get by into center field for a base hit the throw to third and this will come in far too late he's in there at third no hesitation that time, rounding second. He's going to hustle all the way to third on the base hit. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw on to fielders in time, and with that, the side is retired. So no runs here on three hits, no errors, and two left. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Austin Jackson will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And he can't believe it. He thought it was low. Look into McCann, the 1-1. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Prince Fielder digs in at the plate. First pitch coming. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. 
Might have just been looking at one there because that's the pitch you can normally handle. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. So two outs now for the Tigers in their half of the fourth. And that'll bring in the ever-dangerous third baseman, Miguel Cabrera. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Oh, and this guy's been around long enough to know not to swing at that garbage. Here it comes. Hit hard to the left side. And that'll get down for a two-out single. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The throw into second. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Matt, this is all about having quick wrists as a hitter. Watch as he just rolls over and yanks it down the left field line for two bases. Alex Avila will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Swinging a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder. But he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And it's given Detroit a two-to-nothing lead. Didn't leave much of a doubt with that one. He just uses his strength to get this ball elevated. And you see that our majestic home run tracker shows it coming down an even 400 feet exactly. Corey Hunter will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. Base hit. And Matt, look where this thing is. Bearing down and in. I tell you, no one likes the ball down there, but this is good wrist action here, and he handles it as well as you can. Omar Infante will step in. A base hit in his last time. Here's 
Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Now a throw over. And the runner back. Again, a throw and a dive, but he's back in there. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. And pass to Ivan Gonzalez. It's a base hit. And the book on this guy is to get the ball up into the outer part of the plate. But I think he knows where this pitch is heading, and he puts a good swing on it. Max Scherzer will step in now. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself. That'll do it for this half of the inning. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Tigers lead this one two to nothing. Russell Brennan will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a liner toward right center. Base hit. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. We'll get a good look at this one more time as this ball's really hit hard and it's going to wind up an easy double. Dan Ugla will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hits are even right now at five aside. And this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one. Yeah, trying to get him to chase out there, but that ball had too much tail on it. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts now. This is not shaping up to be a night to write home about. That's for sure. So a runner on second with one down now. And standing in, the speedy center fielder, B.J. Upton. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And, and that one's at 97. Not many guys bring it like that. Comes back with a good change up there and it's quickly 0-2. Oh, swing and the bat splinters as this is on the ground to first base. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Alex Gonzalez will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Come set, now the pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Let's go to the 
Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Down the line, but this will kick foul. He'll try again, one, two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We played four full. Detroit is out in front, two to nothing. Number 12 will dig in, 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Rounded softly to the left side. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Aboard with the leadoff single. And the way things are shaping up, they're going to need to capitalize on every chance they get because they might not get too many. Number one will dig in. 0 for 2 with two strikeouts thus far. Fouled straight back. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Now Hudson throws over. And they'll tag him out near first. This is an instant where he just got caught flat-footed there, and they're able to put the tag on him. Here's the pitch. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Strike three here, but now the ball gets away. And he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And the pitch. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. This is a foul ball. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. The 2-2 coming. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. 
Brooks Conrad will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. 99 on the gun that time. That's some heat. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hit hard to the right side. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, let's check this out in slow motion on swing track. It's not too often that guys are early on a fastball, but he looked like he was just a little too amped up that time. Tim Hudson will take his cuts now. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And no one will get this one. Swing and a high pop-up to the left side. And this is taken in for the second out. Justin Upton will be the batter. Swung on and missed 0-1. And, and Matt, that thing will turn hard like that at the end when he's really throwing it well. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and one. And he misses 2-1. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Here's the two and two offering. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Five innings complete. Tigers are out in front, two to nothing. Mike Miner will be the new pitcher. Prince Fielder will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. and he pulls the fastball that time high in the air toward fairly deep right center. Hayward is there and Fielder's gone on just one pitch. Miguel Cabrera will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Started to go around there but he holds up ball one. Sight of a smart hitter right there. 1-0 pitch now. And a check swing looked like he went around. Yes, indeed, says the first base umpire. Strike one. one. one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Alex Avila will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. First pitch to him. 
Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third, and yes, sir, it's strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball, and he popped it up. Back into short right field. Uh, and that's going to fall. A base hit. Well, there's something to be said for being a good bad ball hitter. That one was out of the zone, but he got a base hit anyway. Corey Hunter will step in. One for two in the ball game. Change up too low, and it's 1-0. and oh. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and oh now. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2-1. and one. Now a fastball for a strike. And from 2-0, and oh, it's back to 2-2. Two and two. Two, 2 pitch on the way. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Brian McCann will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh, 99 on the gun? That just isn't fair. That's some hair. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And there's out number one. Jason Hayward will stride in, rounded out his last time through. The pitch. And he takes ball one. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And this is popped high in the air toward the left side. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Russell Brennan will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball. One and oh. One oh on the way. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's one and one. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. We're through six full. The Tigers lead it two to nothing. Brandon Beachy will come in and pitch now. Omar Infante will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far.
Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Swing and the ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. No outs, nobody on. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Good crowd on hand here tonight as we welcome you back inside the broadcast booth alongside Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. Matt Vaskersian here with the call this evening. Max Scherzer will step in. A ground out victim as last time. Fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Upton will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Number 12 will dig in one for two thus far. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Always good to get ahead of a guy with a changeup. Now you put a little doubt into his mind as to when he'll see it again. Oh, has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Here it comes. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Felix Pia will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. And here's the first pitch. Well hit. But I think he pulled it a bit too much. It's a foul ball. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Swing and a high chopper. And their throw to first is in time, one gun. That's a good pitch there. Ran it in on his hands, and he couldn't get extended. David Ross will come on now as the pinch hitter. foul here's the pitch now a ball hit hard towards center and that's in there base hit Boy, and Matt, it is so hard to come off the bench cold like that and deliver, but that's just a super job of hitting right there. 
So a runner at first now with one away and striding in is the shortstop Alex Gonzalez. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. So with a smile, they'll turn it over to a left-hander here, and it's Phil Coke that gets the call. In the dirt, and now let's see. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. And that runner's flat-footed that time. He's got to be moving on those. Now Gonzalez awaits the 1-0. And this one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. And he'll run into trouble if he leaves it there. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Very late on a changeup there as it's hit high in the air down the right field line. Hunter is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Brooks Conrad will step in. One for two in the ball game. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. From the belt, the pitch. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. Tigers lead this one two to nothing. Call to the bullpen now as we'll see the right-hander Scott Proctor make an appearance. Diori Hernandez will come into the game now on defense. Joe Mather come into the ball game as a defensive upgrade. Number one will try and snap out of it. Three at-bats and three whiffs thus far. Side with a fastball as he's got a hot footed out of there.
There's a big swing, and he gives this one a ride high and deep to right center. And that ball is out of here. Solo shot to right center, as it's now a 3-0 ball game. First hit of the night for him, and it was a big one. He got a pitch he finally could do a little something with, and he takes a few innings worth of frustrations out on that one. Austin Jackson will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time.
holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Good late break there. Good pitch to get ahead on. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to short. And Gonzalez throws on to first for the out. Prince Fielder will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Well, take a look. I imagine he's looking for something hard there, but then, woof, he drops the hammer on him with a curveball. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And no one will get this one. The pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So one run on one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eight coming up. Tigers are out in front, three to nothing. Eric Hinsky will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Here's the first offering. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. On the ground is second. Throw over by Infante and that's out number 1. Brent Cleveland will come on as a pinch hitter. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Nah, you got to know your role off the bench. He just needs to get on base here. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Well, and you can't ask for much more than that. They turn to the bench here, and he comes through with a knock. That is nice work. Freddie Freeman will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. You know they'd love to get him something he could hit on the ground here. Maybe get him out of the inning. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. 
Left that pitch right over the heart of the plate, Matt, but he got away with it. Runner at first here, one man out. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball in two strikes. Swing and a miss, so the pinch hitter is retired. And that's a deflating feeling to finally get in the game and then quickly get dispatched from whence you came. Juan Francisco will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. taken outside for ball one and he'll sling that thing across the strike zone but he can't nip the corner and this one's hit on the ground but foul can't catch the corner away with the fastball it's two and one from the stretch and he misses again ball three Russell Brennan would be next. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Jackson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. And a good job of pitching there to get the fly ball he needed, and they will hold on to the lead. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We've played eight full. The Tigers lead it three to nothing. Brent Cleveland will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Juan Francisco will stick around as he'll take over in right field. New pitcher coming on now. It's a submariner from down under. Seems fitting. The Australian-born Peter Moylan. J.C. Boskan will come into the game now on defense. Alex Avila will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. hit deep down the line in right but that's back into the seats foul pace is empty here with nobody out boy he comes back with a beautiful pitch there and he's dominating this at bat it's 0-2 now just does stay alive as this is foul back Strike three here, but now the ball gets away. Boy, he'd need a sand wedge to get that. Corey Hunter stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Hit hard, but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. And that's a sequence that would make any pitching coach proud. They kept it low on all three pitches in the at-bat, and he just couldn't do anything right there. First pitch coming. Omar Infante is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Slider worked last time. Why not go to it again? 0-2. 
And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Number 80 will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. It's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And now this will rattle up against the fence. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Diori Hernandez will stand in, but with the tying run still in the on-deck circle, he needs to get on base somehow. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Joaquin Benoit is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-2. And, and this may get the runner to third as it's on the ground towards second base. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Well, they summon the righty out of the bullpen to get a favorable matchup, but this time it backfires on him. So runners at the corners now. Nobody out. And that'll bring in the right-handed hitting Joe Mather. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and And with the infield at double play depth, it looks like they'll trade a run for two outs. And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 and now. A strike, and it's 2-1. and one. <laughs> This pitcher knows after all these years he got away with one there. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ball three. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, it looks like the bottom half of the order needs to pick up the slack here, but this ain't going to help much. you got to go. Alex Gonzalez will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Grounded foul. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. No contact there, and it's one and two. Runners are at first and third, one away. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. And he's just starting to dig his own hole at the plate right now. That's the second time he's struck out in the ballgame. And you can see on swing track, he needs to be more selective up there. Brooks Conrad is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. First pitch on the way. And this one gets away. That could be a run. And it is a run. Well, you can never afford to just give runs away, but they do here. And the base runner also moves up 90 feet. In there, and it's even at one. Now the 1-1. One, one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And with a pitcher spot on deck, they may work around this guy and try to force the other team's hand. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. 
And they're down to their last strike here, so he'll need to fight to keep this game alive. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. The pitcher's spot would hit next. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, this ball club showed me a lot tonight. They really put their nose to the grindstone and came away with a hard-fought victory on the road. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Well, Matty got him through six and the third good innings, and that was enough to put his team in good position to win the game. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Tigers win it 3-1. This has been a presentation of MLB 11, The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. So long, everybody.